Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sarah and Jason play Astragoth and Drezhoeth in Immortal Empires. I'm getting beat up by the stinking greenskins. And I need to... I need to fix my army, so maybe it's fine then. Oh, I just realized that he's taking out my territory that has my good buildings in it. Yep. <sighs> yep. I'm so annoyed. I'm actually going to... Well, no, I'll keep those... Keep my regiments around in there for a little bit, because uh, I am still going on a war spree here, so... Probably shouldn't... Uh back off on those the great hall of greasies Ooh, the armament cost to get some of these advanced buildings up is a steep i'm losing 22 gold per turn that's not good i wonder if i should post up a lord at my capital just to hold him off Can I do gold? That might not be a bad trade. Quit. Can I write do in it. the exact number? No. Well, I wish I could give the exact number of armaments rather than like. Well, whatever. We'll go with that. I wish I could. Well, whatever. Whatever you say. Maybe I should keep Gugath there for a little bit because he's a block against Cathay. But at the same time, I really want that territory, so. Emmerich's wiped out. Tretch is wiped out. Yeah, I killed off Emmerich and Tretch. Gorst is maybe two turns from being wiped out. Nope, he's going to be wiped out this turn. All right. Lose concave influence for armaments, lose treasury for raw materials, lose labor for raw materials, lose gain treasury at the cost of armaments. Oh, yes, give me the treasury. I think. Yeah, 100%. I do not know where Draka is going. Vacation. So it's definitely a good trade-off to kill this army, but also lose my entire garrison, right? <laughs> garrison just comes back. Yeah, the garrison will replenish if it doesn't get attacked again before it replenishes. Well, I wiped out that army, so now I can take back what is mine. Goodbye, ghost. Is that the haunted forest? Yes. Aw. Poor Hellman. It's not a forest anymore. Teach I have you to deal with me. So many raw materials. I have uh, I have seven thousand six hundred raw materials. Wow. I I am running out of things to spend raw materials on. Wow. Frankly speaking. What is this? I'm making money? Blasphemy. This is the efficiency. I'm confused. Move. Why art thou confused? Oh, okay. Okay. So this would get me to... Alright. Let's accept that. Now I'm back to a hundred... A hundo percent. Wow. Wow. But it'll probably I have get messed. A tower up. seat. Wow. What should I get? Oh yeah, the the, the, the one. Yeah. 
I've been getting like Kadai Fireborn, and I'm like, I don't really need that. Oh, this. I wouldn't mind getting the Dreadquake battery, but that's only when in my own territory. Which I'm almost never. Well, I can get rid of you. You did your job. I'll just disband you. Thank you very much. I really, really wish I could have another army. It's just not in the cards. <laughs> the bank account just does not support another army. Sad. Yes. My bank account barely supports, like, two, two-third armies. Because my one's only at, like, 17 units and the other's at, like, 15 units. Interesting. Didn't expect that. You lost? I thought you wiped him out. No, he had like a random straggler army, but oh. I didn't think that it would be able to do anything. That's what you get. Kugath's army is going. Is he, is he heading further into Cathay or something? So I have a quest battle. Okay. But I don't know if it's one that I can really do before I have like artillery and stuff. Because I, I currently have no artillery. Never know until you try. Or until I get artillery and then try. So, oh, Skullcracker is just a war machine. Hmm. It'd be nice if Kugath went into Cathay. If Kugath what? Went into Cathay. Oh, yeah. Can't be helped. I just need a little bit of money. I have no money. But you've been taking all the, the, uh, caravans. Yeah, but I immediately spend the money. Hmm, I gave my, my bull centaur hero the grotesque mutations. Looking absolutely hideous is a distinct advantage if you abs actually want others to be afraid of you. I don't know if just looking ugly is... It is. Huh. It's enough to cause terror, apparently. Interesting. No, I didn't get to equip him. Oh, sorry. Maybe uh, now I'll be able to wipe out Gorst. Doubt it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> These guys are like the Skaven to me right now. They're just coming from everywhere. 
Yeah, but the more battles you fight, the better you are. Not if I lose them. Well, don't do that then. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> goodbye. I Hellman. I feel like this is the third time that you said goodbye to Hellman. It says faction destroyed now. So okay. I keep you getting plus one unit me. capacity for Kadai Destroyer. I don't even have that building. Maybe you should. Uh, yeah, think about when you do get that building, though. Yeah. Uh, you're you're going to be set. I'm going to have a doom stack. Okay. Um, how do I want to level you up now? Pretty much content with the special row and the spell row for now. Start going into artillery because we're going to recruit artillery here soon. Ruinous negotiations. So now the question is. Uh, yeah, I probably should. I'm going to bring my second army over so that I can really focus on my war against Kugath. Are you doing a thing? What do you mean? Hmm. It won't let me claim a Tower of Czar seat. Oh, I don't have enough things. I looked at the wrong number. Little, I looked uh, at my armaments instead of my know, influence. That'll do it, you know. Okay, Kugath. Kugath! Your days are numbered. Our... Your line is, is ended. Is Nurgle weak to fire? I feel like it should be. Marvelous. Marvelous if they were. What do they want? Military access. I said nine. Uh, that's rude. Nine. Okay. So, Kugath's army. I have to move around with underway stance just to not take massive attrition. Why are you saying? Okay. For a while there, it wasn't letting me move, and I was like, why? I'm kind of annoyed that the Chaos Dwarf Blunderbuss Regiment of Renown is not shielded. Yeah, but it does uh, suppressing fire. What does that mean? It means people that get hit by it are slow. Hmm. Where does it say that at? You gotta hover over the suppressing fire. Option. Oh, I was looking at the, uh, that doesn't say suppressing fire on mine. Um, I can double check it because I have that unit. Yeah. Suppressed. Go to their missile strength and it's right next to the armor piercing icon. Oh, well, that's obscure. Speed minus 30%. Couple that with the spell 
Ash Storm, which decreases speed by 25%. That's minus 55% movement. Weak. So I might not have enough money to build settlements, but if the settlements require a labor, I mean, not labor, um, raw materials, I have all that I need. Okay, I'm pretty much in position to begin my conquest. It might take me two turns to get to the enemy territory, but both my armies are over here. Well, I'm glad you're turning yourself around because I'm still, like, derping around. <gasps> Caravan, no! What are you doing, Caravan? My army isn't over there. Can I reach you? Oh, crap. You win this time, Cathay. You win this time. They keep sacking my stuff. As they should. Tell them to stop. Hmm. Using all of the raw materials for uh, the uh, technologies. Oh yeah, I forgot that a lot of those use raw materials. Yeah. Getting all of them. Unassigned skill point. Oh, Gore does. So we're all good on that line. Let's start getting his faded, lucky, and sneaky skills. Those are good ones. And do I have another convoy? No, I don't. I don't have another convoy. Believe it or not. I wonder if both of these armies will attack me. Oh, probably. I did some switching out of units in my army. Oh, they keep attacking the same settlement! Is that where Astrogath is? No. Oh, Village is dead. Who killed Village? Can't kill Village. That's illegal. Yes, it's war, Kugath. You didn't see that coming, did ya? Did ya? How is Zatan getting so much influence? I'm not sure. He must have a trick. He'll undo the uh, defense buildings for these. I don't know where actual Kugath went. I kind of want to fight this because I just haven't fought, but... It's a decisive victory, so I feel like that might be a waste. Huh. Why just... didn't you fight the ones where you were going to lose? Well, I haven't had many there I was going to lose. Settlement battles. Oh, they have, like, oh. laborers. I found actual Kuga. Oh, did you? Where's he at? Did he just call me a degenerate? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh boy. Um, can this army handle Kugat's army? There's really only that's way, a, one way of knowing. It's a good question. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. The Nurgle units have 20% physical resistance, which is unfortunate, but they have, like, almost no armor. Like, none of them have, except for, like, Kugath himself, they almost have no armor, which is great because I don't have, like, any armor piercing on my missiles. Okay. So that's in my favor. And my missiles do fire damage, but it's probably still physical, so it'll still get reduced. But, and I've got Gordas in that army. That's probably winnable. We'll see what they do. But it's 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 probably winnable. Most likely. What are you gonna do, Kugath? What are you gonna do? I have spent the last like 25 turns just playing cat and mouse with these green skins. That's why I just gave up all my territory and went somewhere else. <laughs> I'm determined. Peace treaty? Sure, let's be friends. Let's be friends, Cathay. I let one of your car caravans through last turn, didn't I, Cathay? I'm, you know, I'm a nice guy. I just got okay, another so unit capacity for Kadai Destroyer. <laughs> ah. So Kugath's solution was to abandon his settlement. Okay. I don't quite understand the logic there, but... I will take that then. Thank you. All right. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Money is still a little tight for the time being, but we're doing better. For sure. For sure. Goodness, I... All of my buildings basically need money. I mean, that's that's kind of how the buildings work. No, but like... I could... I'd be fine if they just raw materials. Because I've got... An enormous amount of that. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to use raw materials for my, um, what's it, technologies, but oh. I don't want to do that yet. Because you're out of stuff. I have like two more and then I'm, I'm done. Oh, I forgot that I could be putting on better... Armor? Better um, manufacture items. I don't know what they're called. Runes? They're not runes. Just forge craft items. Oh, man. All right. And the manufacture. I totally forgot that was the thing until like yesterday. I haven't done anything with that at all. You need armaments for that. Everything needs armaments. Looks like Nakai is getting on Kithay's case over there, so they probably aren't going to be focusing on me. Hmm. Archaeon wishes <laughs> to trade with me. I guess I just forced Kugath into Kithay, so. Huh. That's where he is now. That's lovely. Oh no, Malice was destroyed. What a loser. That guy's so weak. Oh my gosh, Zatan is like taking over. 
Yeah. And by that I mean the Tower of Czar. Yeah. He has... Yeah, he's, he's got quite a few. So... The top of the tower is Confederation. How does that work if we're multiplayer? I just win? No. I don't think Pretty that's, sure that's how, how it works. works. I don't think that's how it works. It sounds right to me. I don't mind. It doesn't sound right to me, no. Just something about it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that these... Oh, so if it's a factory, then the port uses raw materials. If it's an outpost, then it doesn't. Okay, sure. Sure thing, game. Sure thing. That's how you think this works. All right. I'd like to take Shambletown, but that put me at war with, um, Croesus. I don't know if I want to be at war with Croesus quite yet. But I will start recruiting some mortars. Or cannons, I guess. All right. All right, Dusty, I'm coming for you. Can no. can I win this? Nope. It says close victory, low casualties. You gonna fight it? Oh. I did not fight it. But it wasn't a decisive victory. That's all right. That means you must fight it. I didn't. You should just take over the Servants of the Conclave, and then you'll have all kinds of cool stuff. Eh. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Why not? Because I'm trying to fight these greenskins! Kugath has one settlement left. You said Hellhammer is your um, favorite Hushit spell? No. My favorite is Flames of Asgore. Oh. Hellhammer's not bad, but as Drazhoeth, you can reduce the Winds of Magic cost of Flames of Asgore by, like, a incredible amount. So, so it actually, actually is cheaper than Hellhammer, 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 I think. I think. Cause I, I have, spam it, spam it. I have like hybrid Hushut and something else spells, right? Fire, you have more fire than the Hushut. Oh, okay. I feel like every time I say Hushut, I should say, God bless you. Hushut. God bless you. That's what I feel like. <laughs> I don't think that's what that song was meant for. I think I think it's it. new friends and new places to see. I mean, I mean it's 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 <laughs> that's what I thought. So I've got two tier four uh, settlements in the works. Lovely. Materials are just. I'm just floundering. 
Well, once, once I finish, finish off two gas, I will probably be able to swing back up, 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 take some territory, and maybe treat me to that. Well, I'm... Like, like, maybe give, give you, you all the spots spot between, between you and me. I'm... I might be... Well, I don't want to... I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> okay. Scar's next right here, and Ungrim. Everybody hates me. There's seriously so much aversion, just like blanket aversion with the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of laborers. How am I doing on laborers, by the way? Holy crap. Holy moly. I need to get rid of some of these guys. Do some of those, like, things like the, uh, diktats that the Dark Elves have. Do your labor actions. Get that some. only gets rid of, like, 200, though. Well, you get conclave influence and crap yeah but like I need to get rid of a lot I've got like 3,000 laborers there why because none of my other settlements are accepting laborers which now that I think about it is kind of ridiculous my one province like just that single province is maintaining my entire economy on its own. This is ridiculous. I hate it. I really want Tong to go to war. No, I keep saying Tong. It's it's Dolgan. Dolgan. <laughs> I really want them to go to war with these green skins because they like border them. Not the man blight tribe. I attack uh, beastmen on sight. Why? Because they always attack me when it's inconvenient. I know. So even if that delays Kugath's demise, I will genocide their race. Hmm. Hey, Kugath, I'm right at your front door. I'm right here. What you gonna do, buddy? Gonna take a while before the sky has uh, his cannons built. Uh, it's another building that <laughs> reduces workload. I mean, not or workload, reduces raw materials. I mean, I guess that's good though, because I, I do not need raw materials. Yeah, control in my main settlement is not good. It is not good at all. It is not. Hmm. Uh, still can't get the top tier. Um stuff yet soon uh, every time I have to go to do a convoy I have no armaments and no money so it's pointless oh no Send them up there just to have them do something. Okay, this turn I will take Kugath's last settlement. What is this road? It's so zigzaggy. 
All roads are zigzaggy. Not out west. They're super straight. Oh, good. Bale Taurus. Because I totally have a lot of those in my army. I mean, maybe this is what they say it is. I mean, it's against the vampire oh, counts. Oh, heck no. Heck so no, it's, it's not. It's gotta be. It is not. No. Ha! It's your favorite map. It says I lose my dwarf warriors. Both of them? Yeah. Hmm. And, like, I get that the, the Vargeist and the Var... Um, Whatever they're called. Terrorgeist. Bar oh, Terrorgeist. Um, like, they could definitely be problematic, but, like, the Black Knights aren't going to do anything special. The Blood Knights are going to get shot by the artillery, and the ghouls uh, probably won't be able to win in melee. So. But they have Graveguard. Yeah, but they're going to get shot by the artillery. I don't know about that. Okay. You say so. Whee. Do something like that. Do something like that. Do something like that. Do something like that. The Chevron. The I'm Chevron gonna, spam. I'm actually gonna straighten them out a little bit because their target is actually going to be the flying guys first. Same with the hobgoblins. I'm gonna have them targeting the flyers. <laughs> you have chosen of Slanesh. Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. They're wearing way too much army to army oh, armor to be for, from Slanesh. It's like a rule in Slanesh's army that you have to be at least 75% naked. I, I don't think I want to be a part of that army. I mean, nobody does, but it's just the way the world is. Is that going to be a good shot? No, it's going way off. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, no, it killed a whole bunch of... Uh hidden units it looks like <laughs> there's a bunch of corpses there <laughs> that just appeared out of nowhere it's a it's a decoy they want to make you yeah, think that a they, bunch of them died they must have done something to the accuracy because i feel like it was not nearly that bad but that's like that is amazingly bad accuracy yeah it's... and i don't think it was like that before i don't know how like, could just... they have done something outside of the patch though I don't know. It's just like not that long ago, it was not that bad. Maybe this I particular feel. mortar is just trash. You need to fire them and hire some new dudes. Maybe. What about this one? How's this one looking? That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one, yeah. That was good. That destroyed their leadership. See, this is where the fire damage comes in because. I think most of the vampire counts are weak to fire because of the replenish. No? Okay. That doesn't seem right. They have regeneration, so they should be super weak to fire. Well, your archers are so dead. Yeah. Give them some melee damage reflection. Yeah, my lord doesn't need to be over there. Yeah, but the other guys have the Dance Macabre. Von Hell's Dance Macabre. Okay, so... I love that the enemies are dead, but the hobgoblins are still like, We must run away! Well, I saw a video today that was comparing hobgoblin... No, it was... It was yeah, hobgoblin sneaky gets to the... Um, what are they? The goblin fanatics from the... Like green skins, mm -hmm. 
And it ended up with the Goblin Fanatics won, but they also ended up routing. So the battle <laughs> said that it was the Greenskin victory, but both units were, were routing at the end. Nice. Oh, that Terrorgeist is so dead. Yeah. Oh, it's so dead. So, have him shoot at the middle bit, because if he shoots anyone else, I will take massive casualties. I wonder how much damage the mortar does to my own, like, Probably machine. more than what you want. Not if I use the choo-choo train ability to get him out of there just before it lands. <laughs> the choo-choo... Ch is that what it's called? The choo-choo train ability! <laughs> it's called more power, but then it makes a train noise, so that's... Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> oh... That time your mortar see, did better. See, I did not lose both of my dwarf units. That one blunderbuss unit did almost as much damage as the mortar. Yeah. Well. Wow. The the uh, hobgoblins that got attacked by the Vargais didn't, uh, didn't <laughs> yeah. do much. Yeah, no, because the other hobgoblins were shooting the other Vargais and did really good and then or the Vargol for whatever no Vargeist are the multiple ones um but then the other unit was just standing there like eh we don't need to shoot them no worries it would be nice if it had the ability to trade raw materials and armaments I was just thinking that like you should be able to. I guess they just think that because of the convoys, that's kind of what the convoys are doing. Well, but they probably just didn't program it in. It's not, I bet you it's not like a game balance or anything. Goodbye, Kugath's last settlement. I'm going to actually have two factories in this province. Believe it or not. The double factory problems. That's risky. Risky business. Risky business. And then... This one's going to be the... Uh... Now we can, we can have both of our factories be armaments and money. Just go all out. Well... Because this is going to give me a lot of armaments. That's special lumber building, so... Maybe it would be better to... Go a slightly different route. Let's start accepting labor into this settlement. Alright. Now I can start going up northwards again. I don't need your pity. But do you need my help? I don't need nobody's help. Okay. You said it. No. I will crash and burn. All right, Archaon, let's do business. Oh, who's this? Oh, Kolak, you wish to tread upon my lands, do you? I shall accept this. Can't do that. That's against the treaty. To be honest, I'd rather be right. Oh boy, 2,000 armaments. That's gonna, that's gonna take a time. It's gonna take some time to, to get 2,000 armaments. <laughs> the rate I'm going, that'd take a long time. In fact, I don't know if I'd ever get there. I have finally set my eyes upon your lands. I haven't been... 
keeping track of my control. I guess it's not too bad. Oh, this province is doing pretty good, actually. Because I have so much corruption. The corruption is spreading. What? Who's this? Kugath, how dare you? You're just gonna die. That's fine. Cool. Cool thing, bro. Hey, Greece, is you gonna declare war on me? No. Okay. Only in Warhammer would you see a flying bull on the map and then scoot over just a little bit and you see a helicopter. I mean, isn't that pretty normal? No, not not usually, really. Like, that's how it was in The Lord of the Rings. But helicopters? Yeah. Where? That's how they got to Mordor. <laughs> I just think of the Balthazar Gelt video. Uh, welcome to Welcome to Astalia. I will not lie. The chances of your survival are small. Um I'm Friendship is worth more than gold, or so they tell me. I like Gelt, he's cool. I think Gelt's my my favorite. Uh, Empire Lord, then Volcar, then Franz. Poor Franz. If Franz, in my personal experience, performed half as good as I think he should, I'd really like him more mm -hmm. than Volkmar. But, like, he never performs well. Like, that one time when he went one on one with, um, um playing another name. Isabella von Karstein, mm -hmm. like a one-on-one -on -one melee duel, and he lost. And I was like, who are you? Hey, Isabella is just OP. Apparently. I cannot afford so many things. Again. Good progress. Uh. Slaughter the sheep. Mm. Nice. All right. Nice. Dragon Isles are coming along nicely. The dripping fangs are so spread out. It's super annoying. Yeah. Well, you're, you're getting there. Yeah, but then they've got stuff to the northeast. Yeah, they do. They do, they do. I really need them. They are not at war with Dolgan, and I need them to be at war with Dolgan. 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 <laughs> And Skarsnik hates me, so I feel like he's imminently going to go to war with me, but Ungrim is currently at war with him, so maybe that's keeping him at bay. Yeah, I mean, once once I get mm, Drazoeth back up there, I think Gordas's army can hold the Nobly Gorge, so I don't have to worry too much about Cathay. And it seems like Greasus wants to be on good terms with me. So that would basically put my um, eastern, southern, and northern territories in good order. And I could then, we could both focus on the dwarves for a bit. Yeah, because I feel like it's going to be our luck. We're going to get the dwarf endgame crisis. Yeah, I mean, we got we got some turns before that happens, but... I think there should be a Cathay endgame crisis. Yeah? Oh, I love the underway stance. It's a beautiful thing. Because Cathay is OP. My convoy guy got a bull to ride on. Everybody jealous of his bull. Oh, I have so many settlements that need to be upgraded, but I don't have funds gonna recruit a third lord 
playing the game we can't say in the hood. The only purpose of his existence is to provide control and kill caravans that get too close to the Black Fortress. That's all that he will ever do in his career as a, a lord. Oh no, the Nobly Gorge should have a garrison building for sure. That's true. Good point, me. Good point. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to spend my influence on this crap. And I'll do it. If you're spending your influence, how are you going to get steeds? I'm not. Oh my goodness, Silostra wants a... Non aggression pact. Which is you the I guess I could check to see if anybody wants stuff. Clan Farrick wants a non aggression pact. Have you not checked for this long? Been a while. It's been a while. Gold tooth. I'm surprised we didn't already have a non aggression pact. We were trading. All of the chaos people like Kolak and Archaon have gone for trade before any sort of non-aggression, which is very funny to me. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I really need to fight a battle. I'm itching to fight a battle, but... I've been fighting some battles. Yeah, but like your battles have been ones where it's like, oh, I'm going to lose units, or oh, it says I lose... So what do I have to lose? But mine are all, like, decisive, so I don't have any reason to fight it. There was one that was a close victory. Yeah, but it was still low casualties, so it's like, why? So you only want to fight a battle that you're, like, guaranteed to lose. Or lose units in. Or potentially take, like, high casualties. It's like, you have two units and they have four full stacks <laughs> that's the kind of fight you want to do well it's like I would do a lot of these fights where it's like I'm a clear winner just so that I could watch them burn but it would be a waste of time and you would get bored and be like oh that's so. that is what I sound that's like that's what you sound like when you yep. make that noise you do no, it that's, yeah that's that's what it is. I've lived with you for a long enough time to know that's what you the, sound like. The ogres, the thunder guts that I wiped out like 15 to 25 turns ago, uh -huh. they still have a camp over here. It's done nothing. Nothing is, it, this is the same camp that's been there 20 turns ago. <laughs> it's the same size. Nothing's happening with it. I mean, if they're nobody's just... gonna bother them, they're just gonna carry on. They're just, they're just over there doing nothing maybe they should start accepting labor too my labor is going to start getting spread out quite a bit so I might have to worry about efficiency problems if I don't start getting into some battles should I do that quest battle uh, not today because you only got six minutes should I do it like right now <laughs> do it like the first thing that we do next time like at this precise moment. Yeah. Oh, I have enough. I have it. I have it. Hey, 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 hey. Hey? Hey. Hey. Mine. I don't even know if that's the one that I want. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one I want. Don't know what it does, but it looked cool. Ooh, that's expensive. Hmm. Force march. Because that'll give me more control just being in that territory. Nice. Hmm. Nice. Nice. 
Oh, seriously? Did I take that off? Oh, butthead. I don't know what I'm doing. Darn it. Okay. Darn it. I messed up. Well, that stinks. Raise or sack that settlement? <laughs> you called the right guy. Five turns. Building upgrade. I feel like I should just not do anything this turn. Vlad wishes to be my friend. On thy knees, Interesting. Then. Yeah, See, the is... thing that I don't like is your territory is very long. It's like a piece of poop. I don't know what other analogy I would think you'd come up with. <laughs> There are no other analogies. I don't think there's anything else in your head except for that. Except for poop. No. But like it it's more difficult to maneuver when you have a very wide territory. Mine's fairly compact. Well, good thing luckily. mine's not very wide then. Well, it's wide if you turn the camera. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Gore does sack the settlement. Gortus. Gortus. Sack it. Get the oh, that's a good way to get labor. Uh -oh, yeah. My efficiency is not so good. I can just barely get back into my settlement. Yeah, my efficiency went down. But I'm wondering if that's just because I... I built a bunch of buildings that need why is laborers. It, why is it so expensive to yeah, transfer labor? Labor has always been expensive. Do I want... Oh, I gotta up my cap. Oh, no, I can't. Your That's cat? Nice. That's highly unfortunate. Ah, nuts. Can't get to the settlement. Tell me about it. I I just did. I can't get there. Goodness gracious, the range on that. Magma can four hundred ninety-five range. What the heck? What the heck? Which is better, magma cannon or death shrieker rocket launcher? Definitely the death shrieker rocket launcher. One. Hundred percent. You say so. If you're wrong, I'll riot. Riot. Dominate. Should I get rid of my Kadai? Nah. What? You've had them since the beginning. Yeah. Technically, I have. Okay. We might have to revisit our labor situation depending on factors that are completely within our control. <laughs> what? <laughs> factors that are completely within our control. Yeah, yeah. Because I just opened a bunch of my provinces up to accept laborers, so now I'm getting fewer laborers in each one because they're spread out. Less um, laborers. Nope, I said it right. I think we're only going to be able to do one more turn. All right, so this is interesting. I'm bad at siege battles, but part of me actually wants to fight this. I kind of want to fight it. 
Because you lose. I, no, it says it's a close victory with medium casualties. But I feel like siege battles just with cast dwarves aren't like the best. It depends on how much artillery you have. I have one magma cannon. Mm. So I have four dwarf warrior units. I have three blunderbuss. I have seven hobgoblin archers, two oh bull centaur renders, a great taurus, and a magma cannon. Yeah. I'm just gonna auto resolve it. We ain't got had, time for this. If you replaced all of your hobgoblin archers with more magma cannons, <laughs> that would do it. You think? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that would do it? Just enough. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like the minimum. I'll keep that in mind. Requirement. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to war with Skarsnik. No. Oh, I'm so close to the dwarves and I hate it. Even though I am a dwarf, I don't want to be near those ones. You are a dwarf. No. No. It's not dwarf. Dwarf. No. Now my armaments are starting to pick up a smidge. Good. You've already taken a thing up there? Where? Huh? Huh? In yeah. tier three? Yeah. How? I spent, spent like everything on that. Jeez. Jeez, goodness, wow. So I think my plan here is another money generating factory building. And this gives faction wide casualty replenishment rates. Oh, Christ, terrible. Who's mingle? Resugi tantat rashtazad. Okay. So now my, my gold situation is looking pretty good. But my labor situation is could be in a better spot what is this you, pending negotiation you know what it is i just i've never seen that before what pending negotiations yeah like the little it's like an extra circle next to the diplomacy circle yeah i knew that never seen that before what? Never in my life. Goodness gracious, this is a heck of a diplomacy that's going on. Yeah. It's just trade, non aggression, and military access. It's been, it's been pending for a while. Oh, it's pending for me. It says waiting on player. What can uh, I do? I'll exit. No, I... Oh, I... No. Oh, now you have one with me. Okay, that's weird. But now I can't open it. But let me try it this way. Pending negotiations. Now I it's gone. It. Okay, are we friends? We are friends. Very good, very good. Okay. Oh, it still Christ. says pending. Okay, that's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot that's going on here. My poop is getting longer. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> you laughed. You thought it was funny. <laughs> and it's the, it's the color of poop too. Why did they do that to me? There's no better faction for you. <laughs> no, the better faction for me is probably like... Nurgle, who don't they actually like throw literal poop when they fight? Oh, they do worse than throw it. They eat it? No. Have you not seen the animations of the great unclean ones? Yeah, don't they like pull it from their butt and th like throw it? No, that's an extra step. Oh, they just poop right on people? Yeah, just right <laughs> direct like <laughs> shotgun line of fire. <laughs> Like, there is no amount of money in the world that will put me up to. <laughs> like, that is awful. Oh. 
Wow. It is pretty bad. <laughs> I guess I should play as Nurgle. Quest battle this turn. No, we are so right now. We are so over our limit. Quest battle this very moment. <laughs> well, before I'm moving before, there right before now. Jason does the quest battle, we gotta go. But thanks so much for putting up with my immature humor. Stop it. I'm at the quest Stop it. battle. Stop it. We could just quick save it here. That's fine. Okay. Well, anyway. That's where we're going to leave it off for this one. So thanks so much for joining us and we hope to see you in the next one.